Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. So in this video we're going to talk about moving files using the move, the static move function in the file class. And uh, um, this is the same class we've been working on before. It uh, resides in uh, uh, system.io namespace. Uh, so I have a file here, exceptions.txt, has some text. And these are some exceptions that uh, functions in that class usually throw, and we we usually handle them. So in this uh, video, all we're gonna do, we're gonna try to move some files. Uh, we're gonna try to move this file to a different location, either in the same uh, folder or in a different folder. And uh, I've initialized some paths here. Uh, one that's uh, the source path and one that's destination to the to the file I want to uh, copy to and that's in the same directory and another that's in a different directory so we're gonna write a function so this function is to copy uh, not copy but to um, to move the file so let's go, and it's essentially it's going to be a very simple, simple function. Let's call it move file, and as we know, it's going to take a source, and it's going to take a destination. Okay. Right, and as usual, we will make sure we take all the precautions so the program doesn't blow up on us. Let's catch that exception. Okay, let's call it EX. And in here, we're just going to print. string all right so inside of the try black what do we want to do we just want to move the file and well, that's what we're gonna call file that move we give it the source of the file and then we give it the destination all right okay very simple. So we could have called this line here up there, uh, giving it the, the source and one of the destinations. It should do its work. But uh, it's always good to, you know, to wrap functions that can throw exceptions into try catch black, you know, to make sure you'll handle uh, 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 the different problems. Here we're just printing a string, uh, a string but you could do anything uh, else that would be appropriate for your program. So let's just call the function with source and destination uh, one. So move file, move file, the source, and then destination one. Now what's gonna happen here, it's gonna take that exceptions file remove it from this directory and then add it to whatever directory we're adding it to now in this case because it is the same directory what you're gonna see you're gonna see that file be replaced so let's call that and see what happens all right so got replaced and it's the same content, no issues there. So working as expected. Now let's do it for destination two. Now, because 
let's use destination one here. Okay, because we already uh, uh, changed uh, the name of that file. So let's use destination one. So what we're expecting here is for this file to be copied, uh, uh, to be moved actually, to be removed from this uh, directory and moved to uh, file to folder. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. As you can tell here, there are no more files in this folder, and this has been moved to the other directory. All right, this is uh, this tutorial. As I said, it's a fairly easy one. Probably wasn't necessary because I'm sure you know you guys have watched my videos before. Uh, you'd be able to figure this out, but. Um, if uh, if this was any help, please uh, subscribe. Uh, you, uh, I have plenty more videos coming. Um, hit the like button, and uh, if you like the videos, and if you have questions, please throw them at me. Again, my name is Dooley, and I'll see you next time.